welcome back to my channel so today is going to be my very first Halloween makeup look I know it's a little late and first of all before I go any further I want to apologize for not uploading these past couple of months I have just started a college and I'm trying to get into a routine of doing like getting the right balance between work and YouTube and everything like that and I think this might be it I'm not too sure but I wanted to get some Halloween videos up and this is the first one and I know my makeup's kind of rare at the minute but that's for the video and yeah I hope you enjoy it okay everyone the look that I'm kind of going for I'm kind of winging it to be honest it's it's gonna be like a Frankenstein so I'm gonna have different parts of my face like different sections kind of stitched together kind of thing and for my base I just mixed the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation with the Body Shop Lightning Drops and, and I just concealed with a little bit of the Collection Last Imperfection and Shade 1 concealer and I just put a bit of Benefit Gimme Brow through my eyebrows and that was that, I just set it then with the Rimmel London Match Perfection this set of powder. Next thing and I'm going to be doing yeah. is taking this eyebrow pencil from NYX in the shade Acid Green or 927. It's just a very, it's almost like a lime green. I'm just going to be marking on my face where I want the kind of Frankenstein side to be and then the normal side. So you mightn't be able to see it in this light, but I've just drew it going across my eyes. So this will be the Frankenstein part and just from my lip and then down my neck and that will be the Frankenstein part as well. And then these kind of bits will be just normal kind of makeup. So next thing you want to do is get a darker shade of eye pencil, green or whatever shade you're using. I'm going to be using another NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade Emerald City and it's this lovely kind of, just it's almost like a turquoise green but yeah and I'm just going to be going over them lines where I was where I drew before but just darker. I'm be taking a wee flat a wee flat brush and I'm just going to be shading in them lines and I'm just going to be blending them lines in just to make them more soft. Okay so once you have your lines blended I'm then going to be taking the Super Colour Makeup Palette by Kryolan. You could easily just use Snazzery paints or anything just like a wee face paint or an eyeshadow if you have it. And uh, it looks like this. I am missing the colour because I just dropped it on the floor. Um, and I'm going to be taking. Oh, they're all falling. Okay, so put him down as well. I'm going to be taking this green and I'm just going to be putting it into the sections that I have lined out. Before I go any further near my eye, um, I'm going to put a yellow contact under this eye. So you can put a contact down if you want, but you don't have to. It's not, you don't, you don't need it. <laughs> okay everybody, I'm back and I've got one contact in. And if you see me squinting, that's just me trying to get used to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to continue filling up the sections with the green face paint. As you can see, I'm kind of making it darker towards the outer, like closer to the seam, I'm making it darker green. And when it's coming in to like the middle section, I'm making it slightly lighter. And I'm just painting in the ear because it would look a bit odd if I just left it. Okay everyone, so now that I've kind of just did like the base green, I am going to go into the 
outer, like into the more shady parts and I'm going to be using this blue right here and I'm going to be using the tiny brush that we were the tiny brush that we were using at the beginning to blend and just taking the tiniest of mine and we're gonna be going to where we did the lines and creating more line, not another line, but on that line just making it more shady. Yep. I can describe things so well. You're going to want to get your wee blending brush that we using a minute ago and just blend that out. Get a wee bit more blue and you're putting it more in the hairline. Kind of just go along, like follow your natural hairline, not the way the hair goes, and blend it in. bit of black and I mean the tiniest bit and just do the same as you did with it. I want to blend that all out and you can just darken that up as much as you want, lighten it as much as you want. Okay everybody, my camera died, so yeah, but all I really did was I did my eyebrows with the uh, Revolution Brow Pomade and Dark Brown and I just filled them in with a wee, as an eyeliner brush, it's an eyeliner brush from Zoeva and then I just did like a smoky eye using the shade Smoke Show from the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I put that all over my lid. I'll just be doing the same on this eye so don't worry you're not missing anything. And I just put on Demi Ardell Demi Wispies and that's all I did. Yeah that's all I did. And now I'm actually just going to finish up off this side of the face. So I'm just going to be taking the Tarte Showstopper palette and I'm going to be using the bronzer shade do the same to this side. Okay, so I just, uh, my neck's a little bit red because I just got a makeup wipe and cleaned up a bit more and it made the lines a bit more sharp. Get the highlighter shade from the Tarte Showstopper palette. Shadow that I did here on the on this side of the face, I'm going to be taking it was out of that Kryolan palette, this gold kind of color. Just go and put on the other set of lashes and I'll be right back. For lips, I am going to be taking the shade Emerald City. It is an eye and eyebrow pencil from NYX, the one I was using earlier actually, and I'm just going to line my lips. I'm actually just lining, um, lining them and filling them in. Filling them in but only the bits sets and the actual line and then you can just pick a nude or anything I would almost actually recommend maybe taking the lips more like half and half because you mightn't see the nude lip as much as you're seeing the green one okay, so I'm just going to be using the MAC um, retro matte liquid lip colour in the shade Burnt Spice. Fill 
fill in my green lips, I'm going to be using the light green we were using to paint the biggest majority of our face and I'm just going to be putting the tiniest bit in the centre. So I'm going to mix that with a little bit of the gold. So now for the part that is going to make us look like Frankenstein, I hope. So I'm going to be using the um, Emerald, is it Emerald City? Emerald City eyeliner and just draw faint lines. I'm not using the green for it, I'm just, I want to give myself a uh, And it's kind of just building that up to your happy, like, you know, just build. Darkening up the edges. parts where I feel it's like came off a little. Okay, so I'm getting the little flat brush, putting a tiny bit of black on it and I'm going to go over all the lines that I've just Okay, I actually just line my lips with a wee bit of black just to make them a bit more um, emphasise as well. Okay, so what I did there is just like emphasize more like the shade and the right. What I was saying was I just emphasize like the parts in the grain more like just to make it more like in your face. So next, I actually want to do. I, I'm I'm scared to do the blood like a layer like this. Gosh. Can you see? Um, and oh, I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna dab. This is the end of the video. Um, all I did was add a bit more blood to the seam and got the black paint and like made the stitching look a bit more um, enhanced. I don't know. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please recreate it in any way you'd like. And um, comment down below your favourite thing about Halloween, be it a horror film, the weather, whatever. And yeah, I'll try and get another Halloween video up before Halloween. But if I don't, I hope you have a happy Halloween and yeah, see you next time.